we are working around the clock to make sure that NGCDF resources and funds are released hopefully this week or next week so that learners can be able to be capacitated through NGCDF via Basalis to join various schools and also to report in their ongoing schools. So, nataka nita ni hakikishia wa Kenya wote ile maneno tunaagalia sana ni vile tunaokota pesa kama kodi we prioritize NGCDF because it goes a long way into supporting learners in regards to Basalis. Na nimesoma na nikaona hii program pia mimi naenda kuimplement huko Thika ndio watoto wangu wale especially wa discus wao wanakula shule na wazazi ni wapunguzie karo ya shule itoke vile wanalipanga between 15000 11000 i make sure i'll be able to reduce by half every mp in nairobi should really look into this model because one you bring the fee down to 1000 shillings so it's affordable right now people are struggling with resources the second thing is the retention the amount of children that come you've got 100% uh, retention of students So I think that's something that we should consider because we've got a lot of dropouts, a lot of children that don't finish school and a lot of children that are chased from school. The beauty is is trying to make sure that as much of the resources that are available goes into actual work and that one we are really appreciated and we we want to tell Ndindi uh, Nyoro the sky is the limit. Aim uh, higher uh, and we shall support you. You cannot afford to do only what is usually done. So come as is in a rural place. Public Procurement and Asset Disposal Act to me here. Though to 3 million, meaning <coughs> project. So kwa hii second schedule, second schedule natuambia hivi. Tukibidi regulations to the public procurement and asset